What's up, guys? Uh, this is one of my fireside chats. This is where I wanted to uh, talk about uh, like a lot of things that have been happening lately, such as like the big period of time where I did not upload videos, such as a few months ago and now, which was kind of mediocre for me. But first, I want to get into uh, modernizing the AOS trailer videos. I had recently done a video on uh, build and shoot, and it's uh, and a little overview of it. I wanted to uh, have a few helping hands and make a trailer for that. So, modernizing the trailers. There's already trailers for the game. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. There's already uh, trailers here. Let me get to the normal thing. Neutral. Okay, where the fuck is it? Um. Anyways, if you go to uh, a certain area, um, you're going to get these uh, four trailers that pop up like right up here, up in uh, this area. But uh, I'm not being able to get it, so damn. Anyways, um, I'm not really great with talking, so I had to put down a list of the things I wanted to talk about. So first is the build and shoot community. I haven't really seen any gains or losses so far, so I guess it's like. I'm being the pendulum here. So, I had recently made videos like probably an hour ago or so, mostly a build and shoot and total annihilation. Um, I hadn't played for a while, and suddenly, after playing after a while, I got really, really good for like that one round. So, I guess not playing and then playing is like really, really good. So I don't know, maybe I, I'll find another game that I like, put it on my channel, and also mainstream that, and then I can just be very good at build and shoot, because I do have those rotten times, and then I don't post that recording where it's just like really, really terrible, such as a guy named uh, BlueJake42 on YouTube also does. Um, modernizing the US trailer videos, I really want to do this, this is what's going to get the community up. Next we have why I'm not doing Total Mayhem. Total Mayhem seems to have broke after some weird issue. Let's see, where can I find it? Uh, Total Mayhem. Total Mayhem. I would try to run it and I get this weird thing about smackw32.dll. I've never had the file in the, the directory for the Total Mayhem, but suddenly I am requiring it. Um, next is other YouTubers, you know, BlueJake42, and, uh, somebody I get music from, um, BlueJake42, this guy right here, um, this is like some of the kind of stuff he does, and I'm really interested in that, this is one of the games I want, plus he had, uh, done Sub Rosa here, let's look at that, Sub Rosa, um, he's pretty great with it, uh, BlueJake42 Mafia Simulator. That's the perfect name for it as well. Like, uh, I don't know. You can just, like, look up videos for Sub Rosa or whatever that crap. Um, as well as, uh, another music maker that I had recently been getting music from. Not from my trailer, I stole that from some kind of song on Spotify called, like, uh, Between the Buttons by French74 or whatever. Um, this guy makes some really nice music, which is uh, where I got my uh, little channel update before I started using my microphone, talking about how I was going to do some answering some questions, and no questions were answered thus far. Um, nextly, my ability to make stuff. I did uh, something pretty interesting today. Um, I had, let's see, go to my pictures. I had made this nice little... Uh, I made this uh, as a thumbnail for a friend who was uh, going to play a game called Door Kickers. I did I did this in uh, 30 minutes with him uh, talking to me how he wanted it done. So as you can see, this is a blueprint spreadsheet of uh, what would look like blueprints for Door Kickers. And then I added a little M4 rifle right down here uh, in the bottom left. And then there's a flashlight for a little effect because uh, I also add like uh, nighttime. I wish I had like some better graphics or like my computer would be able to handle it so that you know the white the light 
would not be going from the flashlight through the table under the table which kind of sucks it could have been much better um next let's see I also uh, I also showed him some pretty nice text where uh, I found this little trick after uh, doing a trailer that I made for a, a girl gamer yeah a girl gamer who uh, isn't as famous like well she is fam more famous than me but I think it's because she has been here longer than me on YouTube I've only been doing this since August uh, 2015 uh, so look at this. I take uh, black text and I make it like 100 big, and then I take uh, the white text and I make it uh, 80 big, and that's all that really takes. Like I put one white, whatever. I'll talk about it later. So that's what I've made. Uh, let's see. Go into my videos. Uploaded um, her trailer. No, wait. Her. Her intro. So I made that for her in about like an hour, and she was hesitant to put it on her channel, but she was happy that I made it. Nextly, Discord. Um, I find that Discord is way better than Skype. Discord, um, Discord is kind of like TeamSpeak, but I don't know. It seems a little better because uh, the, sh the servers are much less shitty. Um, Bluejack42, I uh, found his Discord and uh, I entered it, and uh, this lobby here, this lo this lobby in the left, I had just joined, and w we a lot of random people were talking, and so was I, and suddenly we thought about doing something uh, Cards Against Humanity, and that's how that uh, Cards Against Humanity video was made. Um, what the great thing about uh, Discord is that you don't have to leave to not have to hear anybody or you know leave to not hear any messages you could uh, you could just like uh, deafen yourself or uh, mute yourself on the, like uh, deafen is where you're both muted and deafened in which you can't hear and you can't say but then uh, if you just mute yourself you can't say anything and you won't like uh, activate your microphone um, but you can still hear people so if you do want to decide to activate your microphone but still listen in on to other people um, there's that and I really like that that's very helpful because uh, in Skype I uh, have a lot of trouble uh, you know getting everybody together like this little group all my gaming friends never worked out like nobody ever talks on it so that that really sucked uh, cheating AI um, I talked about this in like my description uh, Total Annihilation has this weird thing where uh, I, I looked it up. Apparently, uh, cheating AI is uh, made so like the AI will play better. Um, they get to build this building that I am not able to build with any of my units, and they get to build it with a uh, with any building unit they ever want. The thing is, is that it's expensive for them, but once they get it built, it basically produces like 50 metal and 2,000 energy. Now, I almost thought this was unfair until I th saw just how bad they were still playing, so I was okay with it. Um, and you've seen me. Uh, I've owned. I've still owned. And you, that, that strange building, if you look up the galactic gate for total annihilation, you see that icon, and you, and you notice you'll see that a little bit of that building everywhere in the AI's bases. Um, Although I don't get to build that, I've never really had trouble fighting the AI even then. Other than that one time where I started playing Total Annihilation again after my Total Mayhem broke. In which, uh, it was that, uh, urban map, you know, with the streets and the grass. Um, where, uh, suddenly everything ex exploded and... Oh shit, I forgot. Um, that's, uh, that I, uh, didn't post that on YouTube. I used all the great clips from it and then like deleted it and took those great clips and put it into my trailer. Um, no, no, that was for the overview of Total Annihilation. Fuck, I'm so mixed up. Um, anything else? No. So, uh, uh, I'm probably just going to, probably just going to freestyle it here. 
um, games that I would like to put on my channel, but I really can't, such as uh, Blockland. Blockland is kind of fun, but it's almost kind of like uh, Roblox. Why am I not posting many Roblox games? Uh, because Roblox really fucking sucks. Like, and there's a lot of great games out there that I could be playing, but I can't be playing because uh, because my computer shit is not made for uh, gaming. It's totally not a gaming computer. Like, terribly not great at all. Like uh, Phantom Forces, this thing uh, right here wouldn't seem very much, but it's ac I uh, just learned that it's actually like minimal graphics take. Uh, take shit like uh, the requirements for like Planet Side 2 or Battlefield 3 so I can't play that and then you all got all these other games that I would not play because you know it's not my kind of play style such as uh, Murder Mystery and this weird crap right here Spongebob for that whatever the hell that is whatever floats your boat isn't like a really great game Catalog Heaven not not something I would put on my channel see not many uh, games out there really get what I would do um, let's see, I actually uh, found this thing called uh, Suspension Test, and it looked very interesting, but it took a lot of computing power, so sometimes it would go slow, but I was able to run it, and it looked interesting. It reminds me of, uh, uh, what was it, Spin Tires, except, uh, you know, there's not all that uh, Spin Tires physics. It's more like uh, suspension. The suspension looks very realistic and feels very realistic, uh, my recent... We're going to play this uh, suspension test. Here we go. Um, also, UD new work right there. That was ultimate driving. Uh, let's go back. Ultimate driving. I actually found that to be pretty realistic for driving a car. I have driven before, and uh, sometimes it's not fun. It's actually pretty uh, boring because you know you just you're driving the same routes over and over, and there's not really much to do uh, driving. So I started hating driving. Um, Armor Patrol. There's it's there's really an issue like I would like to uh, put uh, armored patrol like on there a lot also fencing the first armored patrol I'd like to put it on there if there wasn't so many of these odd imbalances where I could be owning anybody with like uh, that artillery tank um, or maybe somebody and I don't like driving the helicopters because they're too OP and they're weird and wonky to drive and they're too easy to drive um, the helicopters can basically take out any tank and the tanks have a height limit in which they can aim so helicopters can usually like just aim straight down and not like freak out and I think that's like terrible uh, fencing I'm actually a pretty great fencer, fencer and recently I learned a few tricks from uh, a guy a guy who uh, uh, I don't know like he thought I was uh, great at fencing for what I did but I was having trouble and he saw that and he taught me a few tricks and I respected that of him so uh, I had a hard time killing that guy or even trying to kill that guy after I respected him so well uh, Shiggy uh, I think I put that into my trailer but uh, that thing is down that was it was pretty great but uh, nothing beats the originals which is the underground war down here which still has nine people playing Shiggy is newer and it's supposed to be a remake of the underground war which I don't know if you guys you know what just fucking play it anyway suspension test um, as far as fencing goes um, that game I I really there's there's like a like a common rule that people have uh, Uh, it grooves are the damn it, ads. It and a chip. How do I, you how do like I skip this? Um, I guess. You'd make a pretty bride in that wedding gown. Oh, it's a lab coat. Okay, there we go. And anyways, fencing. There's like a common rule that people go by, especially the professionals, that they're not going to interrupt you in like if like a 1v1. And it usually isn't like said or it's more like uh, you look at somebody and if they start approaching you, that's when you tell it's a 1v1. And other people who are professionals will notice that and they will respect that you got like something going on and they won't interrupt that with like uh, backstabbing but a lot of uh, newbies or new people who really aren't big on sword fighting come in and they don't really know what they're doing so they just start slashing their swords around right behind you as you're about to uh, you know 
put on put down your uh, trademark move onto your opponent, which is uh, what I like to do. Um, but I would not backstab, even if somebody kept backstabbing me. I just like I'd probably complain about it. And if that's not working, I guess uh, try a w in like uh, a more. Well, there's like three places you could uh, do this. Uh, okay, for some reason it didn't start. Shit. I'm sorry about this. And anyways, it's like there's three different plat, three different platforms you you could uh, be going on. There's the big plates. Um, which is like uh, it's big flat and everybody could be on it at once and like there could be multiple 1v1s at a time or it could be just like free for all in a big fat mass and which I do not like it's a pet peeve of mine and then there's like a, a smaller like a very small pad made for 1v1s close quarters and then there's like uh, this thing that's supposed to imitate a bridge uh, that that one's my favorite because a 1v1 can start far away and pe people can uh, prepare their moves best um, so that's why I'm hesitant to uh, put it down okay so as far as I know this thing has uh, oh it's already updated a little bit there's a uh, uh, let's see real wheel drive and all wheel drive very interesting I would probably go for an all wheel drive foxtrot let's see I would actually do yeah, an all-wheel drive Foxtrot right here, and it looks really nice. Let me see. My graphics are all the way down. Let me turn turn down this volume. Okay, so that's as slow as it's getting. So this game it takes a lot of processing speed because the suspension is so realistic, um, especially with uh, these models. They're very uh, they're very uh, well made. So let's see. Um, and I just like uh, doing this because I don't know the suspension looks great. Let's see from the bottom of the car. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty realistic to me. Slightly realistic if you're uh, if you have low standards, I guess. And I'm a kind of guy with low standards, so I like. Uh, so the suspension test is not much to feature, so I guess it's pretty good to uh, feature it on a fireside chat. Anyways, along with uh, other games. Um, no, I, I don't think I'd put much else, like, uh, zero gravity jetpacks, I did that once, but, like, with a friend who didn't really want to stick around for very long. Um, galleons, I probably would do, I, I, w well, uh, it's kind of hard to say, that's, it's not a great game, because people can be owned if, like, somebody who is, like, been playing for long enough has enough points to rack up on things to have and like the new people just keep getting owned by this like guy who's racking up the points to get more things to kill people with it's like it's like farming basically oh build your base and uh f build your base and and your troops don't take this the wrong way um nobody actually makes this i've never seen any well like probably seen like one person that actually went and built a base and troops uh... what this game is actually mainly used for is probably uh... posing in a physical state such as uh... Th like think of the roblox studio but you have your character and all these tools and that's all you get well i don't know it brings a challenge up but i i, I find it very convenient because there's automatically stuff that I could be using that would be hard to get myself such as uh, decals that are put on to uh, uh, let's see two by one by twos uh, which is like uh, the Roblox torso uh, in uh, stud form and uh, those are supposed to be torsos with uh, those decals have uh, they have pictures made to uh, look like certain things such as uh, bandoliers and, and uh, rifle holsters and other holsters and I, I find that very helpful uh, just about last year I had uh, probably during the summer I had uh, played this game for the first time the first thing I made was the guy I don't know doing a pose the next thing I made was totally off the hook I uh, took a guy with a minigun who was in like slow motion uh, 
you know, trying to shoot this guy, and this guy was dodging his bullets Matrix style, along with uh, bullet trails and everything, and I thought it looked really, really nice. And uh, me and my a friend of mine uh, decided to play this together, and, uh, you know, it, it was a good, long friend of mine that I never get to meet, and then I met him, and, uh, like, I met him onto the game, like, he followed me into the game, and we uh, made this military person in less than three minutes, and it, it was really awesome, like, uh, he uh, chose what he was going to wear, what he was going to use, and what he was going to have on him, and I just posed the guy to look really, really good, and I thought it was really, really great, so uh, that's the one thing of uh, animation that everybody does like uh, you know that an animation people you don't see like one person doing it all sadly I usually am doing it by myself because only I can see what I want but I have an exception for this good friend of mine I had met him in ninth grade like he just came up to me and said hi and then, like this conversation sparked and then it was uh, from then on like we really really liked each other and we thought we were extremely compatible and we were pretty compatible, so, uh, so this, so, uh, he, uh, I don't know, we never had, like, an argument or anything f since, since then of ninth grade, but after, like, tenth grade, which I'm now in eleventh grade, I never see him anymore because I, uh, I relocated, thankfully still in the same town, which is nice. Um... No, I, I don't think I can think of much else other, other than, uh, f shit, uh, f no, I, well, I could probably show how, no, probably make a separate video on other stuff I'm probably going to showcase. Alright, thank you for listening, and, uh, check out the people I, uh, talked about.